I'm not much of a morning person. One of my smart speakers wakes me up. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to our wonderful kitchen. Today we're gonna to do a few little things. How to stay healthy? Trick number one, drink juice. I definitely need someone's help to pick out matching socks. A lot of times my daughter picks them out for me. We miss you. Love you too, miss you too. The goal is to be less disruptive to that routine that they're engaged in. Patrick Clary, product manager on Google Accessibility. For anyone with any type of impairment or a disability, there's a strive for independence. And I think this is actually just human nature. You're relying, of course, more on other people to drive you around or help you accomplish certain things. It can be frustrating. With Lookout, we had been talking to many different users with vision impairments, and we knew that there was a need to provide them with more independence with daily routines. If you're using Lookout for the first time, basically you open it up and you can just start pointing it at things and it will start telling you about the space around you. Coffee maker at 11 o'clock. Coffee maker to 11 o'clock. Coffee maker at 11 o'clock. Would you like some coffee? It will tell you about objects, and it can also detect things like barcode and currency. Best dollars at 12 o'clock. I mean, without these apps, and it is a problem because it all feels the same, so. These things that happened today, I couldn't have dreamed about. You know, I dreamed for phones to be talking. They are talking now. <laughs> I dreamed for ability to navigate more independently. We, we can do that today. Artificial intelligence is going to play a major role in the lives of people with disabilities. And in the case of Lookout, it's going to be able to provide these users with an understanding of the space around them.